Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can time an entire Python script as well as time a section of code. So I'm going to dive straight into the video, I'll put my glasses on as usual and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay perfect, so we are in PyCharm and I'm just going to say the first thing we need to do is import the relevant modules, which is obviously always important, and we're just going to import time. So obviously we need the time module in order to time Python scripts and sections of code. So the first thing I'm going to do is say timing a section of Python code. So what we do is we will start by assigning a variable. So let's say start. We'll say start time is time dot time. So what that does is it recalls the time at, at this point in the Python code. And then we're going to do some code. So I'll just put do some code. Let's say we'll do for i in range 10. Let's say we want j to equal 10 plus i, for example, and then we'll print each of the j's. Okay, so we've done some code here, it's, it's doing something, and once this has happened, what we need to do is we'll say end time, we'll make that equal to time dot time, and all we're going to do at the end of this is we're going to say final time is end time minus start time. Very, very simple. Um, obviously this section here is whatever code you're doing so it may be a lot bigger than this I've just done a really really poor example you know just to show you that we're going to put some code in here now the final thing we need to do is obviously we need to print this final time so let's just run this python file okay perfect so it's done exactly what we wanted it to do this is the code that we wanted to do and this value down here is the time it took so e to the minus 0 0.5 multiplied by this is very very small um, obviously if I said for I in range let's say a thousand and I didn't want to print J let's see how long this would take we'll put that to 10,000 and we'll just run it okay there we go a little bit larger numbers okay if we add one extra zero let's see okay there we go one second so obviously as we make this a little bit bigger this value in here bigger the time it's taking to do the code in there is obviously a lot longer so there we go that is how you time a section of Python code this is the code in here and all we're going to do is we're going to say this gives the start time end time once the code has finished and then this is just the total time here okay perfect there we go that's how you time a section of python code now i'm going to move on to tell you how you can time an entire python script okay so the way that we're going to do that is very very similar to what we've done you can do it through date time and that basically gives you it in kind of hours minutes rather than just all the seconds which is a little bit nicer i guess if your python files are running for quite a long time the way that we do that we can do it exactly like we have just done there so quite simply just put start time is time dot time at the start of the python file do some code do some more code um, and then do it like that so what i've kind of done here is this is the sec this is a section of code um but equally this can be used for the entire script as well because this is just the code that we want so what i'm going to show you is another way of doing it and this is using date time so you can do exactly what i've just done there write time dot time for the start time at the start of the python file oh and then at the end of the python file just do end time is time dot time but i'm going to show you just another way which is a nice little way of doing it so that say your python scripts are taking hours rather than seconds it's a nice way of being able to figure out exactly how many minutes and how many hours that it's taking so we're just going to say from date time import date time and what we're going to do is let's say we have let's say start of the python script okay and we'll say script starts time and this is just going to be date time dot now now i'm going to just put some extra coding in here so i'm just going to copy this entire thing again so this is some extra coding so it's not a chunk of text so it's so this is just some extra coding just so we don't just have this bit of code in here so this is showing you how to do a chunk of text and this is going to be showing you how to do the entire thing so start script start time is date time dot now and then right at the end of the python file we'll say script end time is the same variable so we'll say script end time and this is date time dot now 
And very similar to what we did before, we're just going to print the script end time minus the script start time. And we'll run this and we'll see what happens. Okay, perfect. So what's happened here is this is the seconds that it took for the first kind of chunk of code that we did. So this is what we did before. That's how long that took. And then the entire script itself took this here. So that is in seconds here. This would be minutes and that would be hours. So as we can see, the entire script took two seconds to do. So that is a nice way of showing you the date time and also the time module and how they work. So in this video, we've learned about the time and the date time module and how you can time entire Python scripts as well as chunks of Python code, which is really, really useful. An example of where this is really useful is if you are running simulations and you want to know whether your simulations are just taking simply too long or you know how long they are taking it's always really handy to just time your python code so that's why i featured this on this channel because it's a very very useful thing to have no matter what industry you go into so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like subscribe and comment and i will see you all in the next video